All right, Steve. Yes. Uh, before we go to break, uh, you say that we have to give the Ted Smith the floor for some he reason. He texted me and just said he, he needs to come in the studio and he has to address something. All right. As you know, the men's room, fine afternoon program every afternoon from 2 to 6 here on The Rock. Uh, the man who basically, in his own words, is responsible for the success of that show, Miles and Thrill, just figureheads, but the Ted Smith is the one that gets it done, from what I understand. Sure. That is correct, sir. There you go. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Here he is, ladies and gentlemen, the heart, the soul, the man that makes it happen from the men's room, the Ted Smith. BJ, thanks for having me in. My, well, well, not my pleasure, but yeah, here you are. BJ, actually, I'm here today on a mission that you will enjoy. And it's basically just I've been sitting at home, and much like Heather, been enjoying the show this week. And frankly, I'm just here to say I am sick of double R. Wow. <laughs> Look at this. I had no idea that you were going to be coming in and doing an anti-double R situation. <laughs> you wanted to come in just to let everybody know that wow. you don't like double I've R? I've had it, man. Yeah. I'm what? tired of it. What's this? What happened? All right. We'll start with a simple thing. All right. You ever watch uh, maybe the foul balls play a softball game? Uh, as a matter of fact, I've done that once. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> well, I don't know. If you go to the games a lot, like... Uh, I've seen some of the video that's right. been taken, yes. Like Steve the Producer or Top Shelf or The Rev or All Mono right. Nick. The problem is, is that every time you go... Yeah, we're playing, we're having fun, and then as it gets later in the game, we gotta stop. And we gotta let Double R hit three, four times in a row and get out his special little ball so his massive ego can rip home runs and the whole crowd can go, yay, Double R. Does that really go on? It goes on every friggin' week. Uh, kinda, I, I yeah. can't really deny that. But he bats three or four times in a row? Oh, well, in all fairness, uh, some, sometimes, ball. sometimes he'll go up, somebody else will go up, he'll go up again, <coughs> and then when the inning's over, he'll go back up again. Yeah, you'll have that every once in a while. Why? What? BJ, what is he wrong puts with people him? on base. Lord of the base, he's not going to hit a grand slam. Okay. I mean, really. I mean, did, what did, who are you trying to impress? What is he? That, that, is, that is not. That's amazing. No, it's every week. I, like did, I had no idea that was going on because obviously I don't go to these things. So, uh, really? I will say that uh, Rev was so upset when uh, Double R took his place in the batting order that he wanted to quit the team. Are you really? serious? Rev, what? Yeah. Oh, we should check in with the Rev. Are you, I, I cannot believe. These are supposed oh to be God. fun what little games. Yeah, Pete Ted Smith has dropped a bomb. He, t- he takes people out of the games because he so much wants to win that he really makes it to be like some Mr. Woodcock situation? Well, thanks, BJ. Ah. Yes, in fact, uh, I think it was the Bremerton game where I was already having a bad day because I was on the ferry for uh, three hours. Wow. Uh, he did actually take my batting spot, and I was very very, very angry. Oh, my God. But Back DJ, to you. You're missing the point. It's not that he wants to win the game. It's that he needs himself to hit a home run so that everybody can see it. And then when we go to the bar wow. after the game, everybody can pat him on the back and go, wow. man, you hit him far, dog. <laughs> You know, Ted, that's a strong allegation, but uh, you know what? If if your allegations are true, that surely makes him a jerk. So, uh, all right, so we are close to running out of time. So, yeah, you're you're pissed at him and you're calling him out. You're you're, I'm you're just done, done with him. You're done with him. All right, I'm done with it. I think well, you guys frankly, should be done somebody with it. somebody should put him in his place if that's the case. I can't believe it. None of us can hit a ball very well, though. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, Ted, you, you've you've called him out. This this may have repercussions, my friend. Are you sure you really? I mean, the, hey, are, I'm putting you, him on Fun Street. Okay. There it is, top shelf. Love wow. it. Yeah. How about that? You're feeling me. I, you know what, Steve? <laughs> I have to say, I had no idea this was going on, and you guys have done a really good job protecting him, but this is BS if he's actually being that kind of guy. At these, these are supposed to be fun. This is not a real competition. It's supposed to be going out and meeting with the listeners, having fun playing softball, not being a jerk and taking the rev out because he's not good enough to, so that someone, uh, someone else's ego can be stroked by hitting a home run with a special ball and mul- multiple batting appearances. Special and the same green inning. ball. Special green one. What a douche. Shame on him. I'm not. You know what, Ted? I agree with you. I think yeah, that, that's, that's not good news. All right. Ted, I appreciate your honesty, but I don't, re- I don't think you realize the can of worms you've opened up because once Double R realizes you've busted him like this, I know he's not going to be happy. What's he going hit to hit me out of the park? Oh. All right. Oh. All right, Ted. <laughs> I can't imagine how this is going to go down, Steve. <laughs> this should I mean, be interesting. We'll have to find out on Tuesday when, we, when Double R gets back. All right, Ted. We'll see him next Tuesday. Wow. <laughs> The Ted Smith has come in, and he's dropped a bomb. We'll see how that bomb explodes and what kind of shrapnel we're all involved with next week on The Rock. This is the BJ Shea Morning Experience. All right, uh, ladies and gentlemen, if you didn't listen to the show today, as you know, Double R has been on vacation. We had a special appearance. How does my hair look, Steve? Looks good. Hey, does look good? Like a fancy boy. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, if you haven't listened, uh, Double R on vacation made a special visit from the men's room. The Ted Smith. And um, 
Well, Ted said some tough stuff about Double R and the way he is as a softball coach for the foul balls. Some damning things about Double R. But Ted isn't stopping there. We, we ran out of time, but Ted said he had more to do, more to say, more reasons why he thinks that Double R is just intolerable. So, ladies and gentlemen, the floor is now the Ted Smiths. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Not Kim Kardashian's ass. Steve Sorry. Ted Smith, thank Sorry. You. Got now, distracted. Steve, I like to come in here and have fun. But from the moment I moved to this town, I've heard it's Double R special. Double R does this. Double R does that. He's got that X factor. You know what that X factor is? A giant ego that everybody in this town is freaking sick of. Are you going to edit this thing? No. Oh. Well, the Double R, you know what? You fucking suck. Oh. Whoa! Whoa! Ted, are you All sure right. you want to go down that road, yeah. Ted? Are you sure? I'm going down that road. No, Ted! You suck. I'm wow. tired of it. Wow. Do I look like I'm playing? <laughs> Hold on, Steve. He doesn't look like he's playing. No. no. Fun and games are over. You know now. Wow. Wow. The BJ Shea Morning Experience on 99.9 KISW.